Lots to get to, and we start with that breaking news at 9 out of Larimer County. Firefighters battling the Pearl River fire near Red Feather Lakes. It's burned at least 130 acres already. And mandatory evacuation orders are still in place tonight for people who live nearby. Fox 31's Nate Belt has been covering this fire since it sparked. He joins us live tonight from Larimer County with those brand new details. Nate. Our newsroom not long ago, only within the last 15 minutes, the Larimer County Sheriff did update us. They said that the fire remains at about 138 acres and it is still at 0% containment. Uh, we would give you a look, but we can't really see anything from where we're standing. Not long ago, literally within the last uh, minute before we, we were live here, we saw a pretty large flame spark up and then quickly die down. We can no longer see that anymore from where we're standing. Now, all the helicopters and planes that were dumping water earlier this afternoon. Those stopped circling around seven. Haven't seen them since. It would appear they are done for the evening. Now, earlier this afternoon, you could also hear plenty of evacuation sirens blaring throughout the hills here, alerting people like Chris Holcomb to leave the area. Now, Holcomb, she lives just up the road from where we're standing. She says she saw the first uh, smoke and fire while running errands in Red Feather Lake Village earlier today. She found out her home was under a mandatory evacuation around noon, and she packed up up her things and got out of there fast. Now she tells us this isn't the first time she's experienced wildfires before, but not like this one. This is the closest it's been. I've owned my property for 20 years. So this is very close knowing um, living through the Cameron Peak fire, knowing how fast these fires can travel. Um, I'm prepared not to come home. Now, Holcomb says she was able to rent a cabin outside of the evacuation area for the next two nights, which she says her insurance will cover because of it being a mandatory evacuation. Now, uh, she also says that she does have a son who lives in Denver, which she says she's prepared to go down there if she has to. She at least has a place to stay. And again, just want to let you guys know, again, just in from the sheriff's office, the fire still at about 138 acres and 0% containment tonight. Reporting live in Larimer County, Nate Bell. Fox 31. Nate, thank you once again. Firefighters think that it was human caused, in fact. Yeah.